the interesting thing about evolution in itself is that it's not predictive. Evolution is just a response to the here and the now. The way I look at the world is to think about ecology and evolution as being two actors on the same stage and that they're constantly interacting with one another and changing one another as a consequence of those interactions. I was interested in looking at evolution in natural populations of guppies in Trinidad and so we were able to see guppies living with predators and to study how guppies evolved. Guppies were an ideal animal because of their ease with which you can keep them and breed them in the laboratory. Guppies were perfect for testing the ideas that I was interested in. It turns out that humans are predators on fish in the same way that there are predators on guppies. And we rely upon fish as a source of food. We've tried to regulate what we do to fish by thinking of their population dynamic. What people haven't thought about is that they're evolving. When we take that kind of evolutionary change into account, then it makes a big difference in how we should be managing those populations. Overfishing has had an impact on the size of many of the fish that we rely on as a source of food. And they don't come back. We've changed many things. And one of the things that we've changed is the fish themselves. And they're, they're never going to grow to the sizes that they had been before unless we wait long enough for evolution to change them. A sustainable world has to be a stable world. We are changing the world in a diversity of ways. And if we want to understand and predict what the future will be like, we have to understand evolution that we're causing. If we can do that, then the predictability of our science will be, will be better.